Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rainy, this is the Enchanted Planner, and today we are going to do something a little different. Um, I'm trying to figure out what planner I want to use next year for my catch-all. And when I first started planning, I had played around a little bit with a line vertical. It was one of the Glam Girls, I believe, and it worked not bad. So this one is from Squared Plans. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to go check it out. I love her undateds because they're relatively economical <laughs> and um, I can try things out without having to commit to buying a whole damn planner. So that's what we're doing. I pulled out my own dating things. I want to use um, Merida because it's something to do with Disney this week. I don't know if it's Disney's birthday or something or other, but it's Disney this week. And I did Mickey Mouse last year. So we're going to do something different. And I pulled these out because they complement fairly well. So we have a plan. Yes, we do. We're going to start out by giving this guy some identity. Oh, it already has identity. Do I want to? I want to change that, I think. We're going to go fancy. That shows how absolutely with it I am today. I didn't even notice that there was already days of the week. <laughs> Oh, good grief. All right, Monday. My Monday's got a little kink in it. It was hard to get off of the plastic. Are you better? You're better. All right, let's see if we have better luck with Tuesday. I've thrown my back out. So I don't know how well this plan with me is gonna go. We're gonna try it to see because I can't really lean over all that well. I'm a million times better than I was um, the day before yesterday um, after spending the night on the floor with the TENS machine and a heating pad which made a miraculous amount of difference went to Cairo yesterday and I'm going to go back to Cairo today to see if we can't get this guy under control because it's not happy right now and I don't have time to be <laughs> laid out with back problems right now and it's a myriad of different things, right? I'm an ex-gymnast and pretty hard on my body sometimes. And it lets me know. It's like, you have pushed it too far. We're going to mess you up. You know, of course, I literally get almost a month, basically a month in of like fairly consistent exercise and movement and stuff. And then, <laughs> yeah, my back has other plans. But that's okay. This too shall pass. All right, let's lay down Sunday, fabulous. And then let's grab, oh, what week is this? It is, I think it's the week of the 16th. No, the week of the 13th. All right, so we need 13, 14, 15. Probably should have done this before I started the plan with me, but wasn't thinking. So how's it how's it going out there in planner land? I think that's enough. One, two, three. Oh no, that is not enough. 13th to the 19th. All right, we're almost there. I said my back is putting me into, I can't think straight mode. <laughs> I, can't, I can't think straight. All right, we're doing big bold numbers. I'm gonna put the 19 up there. And the 18 right beside him. So yeah, that's my life in excitement. How about y'all? <laughs> it's annoying. It's annoying. Like seriously, I made it a month of consistent movement, you know, getting something done most days of the week. And then something has to come along with a sledgehammer and say, uh, 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 <laughs> I'm just annoyed. I'm annoyed. All right. We've done sort of the basics of that. I'll come back to this sheet for a month when I know where we are laying things out. So let's have a look here. The thing that isn't on this lined vertical is a top focus box. So we're going to grab... Hold, please. Let's see if this one does it. I don't know how many boxes I have left in here, mind you that color I'm looking for. So I've got verticals, which I don't really want. What does the orange look like in here? Do we have an orange? 
we do, but it's kind of, eh, don't, don't like it. Okay, well, that's that idea. Hold that, please. Hold, please. Oh. And I don't think anything in here is going to go, but we will look. Let's just pull these over. Uh, it's not bad. It's too bright, though. Okay, so that's a tank. Should probably not be moving as much as I am, but I gotta get her done. So if you see this video <laughs> and then you don't see any others from me, you'll know why. Because it was too hard to film, and my back. I had other plans. All right, worst case scenario, we just go black because black goes with everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a focus box at the top of each um, column. I think we'll use these ones. Let's see. Yeah, I just sort of want an area that I designate each day that says, hey, I'm important. Don't worry or don't, don't forget about me. Like that. And I'm not going to need these all the way across. That's the other thing with using the lined vertical layout. I don't really need Saturdays and Sundays. The only thing that ever goes on there is if we have an event or a dinner to attend, or if um, there's a bill that I've got a note or an appointment, sort of that idea. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to deal with that yet. I mean, it's going to kind of look funny if I only take them halfway across. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I mean, I could take them all the way across. I like the, I like symmetry. <laughs> if you've been around enough, you know, I have a thing for symmetry. I just, it's pleasing to my eyes. I like symmetry. Don't, don't ask why. I just like symmetry. All right, so we're gonna create a symmetrical. We're just gonna take it all the way across so it is on both sides. Somehow we ended up a little crooked over here though. I'm not sure how that happened, but let's fix that so it's not so obvious. Did I go, I don't know what the hell I did. I kinda went crooked. All right, hold please. <laughs> I fix some of this crap. Okay, that's a little bit better. It doesn't look so obvious. All right, so we can get those out of the way and we're going to go into our decorative stuff. So let's go have a look at the second sheet because we do have a little bit of a corner piece down here. But we're going to remove this annoying backing. You know, it's funny. You have no idea how much your lower back <laughs> is included in pretty much every activity you do until there's something wrong with it. And throwing my back out is not something that is a normal occurrence for me. The, the only other time I've had this happen was like back in 2018 and I can't remember exactly how it happened. If I just got up one day and that was it, I was done. Um, this one, I'm pretty sure I did vacuuming. I had aggravated it. I think doing some of the exercises and then my back was a little bit sore already on Monday that my house desperately needed a vacuum and a good dust so I went screw it and I just did what needed to be done all right let's pull this guy off of here I was kind of hoping for more of a for more of a oh, I put the wrong one it's kind of hoping for more of a, but that works actually. It's pretty good there. Because if I take them up here, I have to do it that way. And I don't want to do that. So let's take this guy. Yeah, it's funny, like Monday, as the night progressed, it might, it got worse. Oh my gosh, it got worse. It got to the point where I couldn't stand unsupported. <laughs> and, you know, things like going pee became an issue because, you know, sure, I would get in there and have so much trouble trying to get down and up or even just like pulling up my pants afterwards. It's just a freaking nightmare. 
<laughs> so I don't recommend this for anyone. And then what I did is I spent the night on the floor downstairs with the TENS machine. Basically, every time it finished, I redid it with a heat pad over top of it, laying on my side with a pillow between my legs to unpack my back. But, you know, I have, you know, as a trainer, I have more tools at my disposal than the average person does. I mean, not not many people have a TENS machine, right? Actually, what I would really like is an interferential machine, but I cannot afford to put out that kind of money because <laughs> that's getting a bit ridiculous. Okay, so I think we're going to bring this one in right here because why not? We have the room. Right, so let's get some scissors. Okay. <clears throat> Throw you down there for a second. And we'll take you two off the scissors. And then it's funny because Di tweaked her back yesterday. I swear her and I live in the same body. <laughs> I screwed my back up royally on Monday and she tweaked hers yesterday. So hers isn't as aggravated yet. Hopefully it never happens. But yeah, she's dealing with a similar issue. It's like we have sympathy pains for one another. It's kind of cute. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about creative karma design. <laughs> my, 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 my sister from, from another mister is what I call her. She's hilarious. Her and I should have been, it would be dangerous if her and I both lived very close together, I think. Okay, so we've got a little bit of decor on the side. Now where we get into a little bit of a, what are we going to do? And here's my thoughts on this. When I've been decorating the vertical, I kind of write all over anyways. It's just how I sort of plunk it in. Like, where's my, where's my planner? Like, if we look at this week, for example, I'm kind of plunking things. I don't really want to write in the middle because I want this focused, right? But sort of I'll plunk information wherever it needs to go. The same here. Like, I just plunked information all over the place where it needs to go. So I'm thinking I can very much do the same with this. We've got our focus boxes at the top and I think we'll still integrate some smaller boxes and some clusters. So let's grab our big bad boy here. I wonder if this, I could probably bring in some of that blue. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna say what the hell we're going for it. This of course is a totally different color, which is probably out of the two the better, but hey, <laughs> we're just gonna make it work. All right, <clears throat> the thing with this though, I think what we're gonna end up doing is possibly going a bit smaller on our box clusters. So give me a piece of wax paper. Let's take a little guy, Get that off of there. Get that off of there, because I'm famous for putting those on the back of stickers. And then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna grab a black box in this size. Be nice if I could find an orange to match. And then we'd kind of have this black, which is all the colors, and then this combination of the blue, teal color, and um, what's I'm gonna call it? Orange. <clears throat> I need my monthly and my planner. Please, please, please. All right, what have we got going on this week? I need boxes on the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th. So we have kind of carte blanche. We're just gonna make it work. So I think we're gonna come in. Let's go low. Let's come down here. Put that guy there. And this one off of there, like so. And we're gonna grab our flores. Um, I have that piece, which might work. It might be the right size. Yeah, it's actually the right size. Um, that box is horribly crooked though. Why didn't you tell me, you guys? Sheesh, see, it's got a sticker back. Oh no, it just ripped for some reason on the back. I don't know. All right, let's get that straight. And then we can bring the sticker bit. This is why I always keep my scraps because you never know when they're going to work. You need to move this a little bit more. Actually, what we really need to do is just trim off like a micro amount. That should do it. Yeah, that's perfect. Line up against the box, please, if you will. Coolio. All right, now 
Let's go to our box combos. Go back to our teal color. I wish I had one, although the dark blue is not bad either. Maybe we play with this a bit and mix this in with the orange. Because if we take this against the flowers, it is a pretty good match. So let's put that for a second. Let me grab orange. Actually, the orange is great. Okay, so we just need to get to the right size. Let's get to the right size. So with this one, I think I want the really bright one. Too small. These poor books are falling apart, but they are very well loved. Very well loved. This is stuff I wish that she kept in stock on the regular. Like, I keep checking the website and none of them have been restocked. I mean, she brought them all in at a big size, but I'm like, I don't freaking use big letters. <laughs> I don't want big. I'm selfish. I want. It's all about what I want, don't you know, people? Okay, so let's take that off of there. Find some wax paper. And get this laid down so I can get an idea on where I want to place this. So if we did that one, I think we're going to come in kind of here. I'm going to come in lower. Not too low. About here. Why is my box got a weird, a weird thing to it? It's all wonky on the one side. All right. I don't like that. We're going to turn that so I can cover that up. Let's go in about here. Get that guy laid down straight. And then let's put his friend up here. Not yet, Mr. Box. Getting excited won't help. Put that one there. And then we have another cutoff bit, which might work, or it might be too big. Oh no, this isn't a cutoff bit. This is a regular size. I could cut it in half. If we cut it in half, put you, yeah, actually that works. Okay, so I've got a bit of sticker on here somewhere. I don't know where it went. There it is. The itty bitty bit, the micro bit from the one I cut off earlier. Get rid of it. All right, so let's snip you right up the center like so. And then we're going to pop you right there. I wonder if we put the other one underneath. Kind of like that, although it's a little small. I'd like something a bit bigger. It might work better over here though. Yeah, that's a, I don't know yet. <laughs> that's a, I don't know yet. This one, I could probably cut down to work a bit. Again, this is a scrap from something else that I used in another spread. Because we could cut that about there. And that would leave that much. Or we come at it from this side. Oh, well, I'd have to come over the box a bit, I think, and cut it right there. I think we'll go the other way. So I left a mark in there somewhere. Let's just lay it down. Hold on. Hold these. There we go. And then I'll get my exacto knife, wherever the heck it is. And we're going to cut right there, like so. Now, we've got an ugly black line running through this, which means I am going to sneak in behind and eliminate it. And yeah, I'll definitely, I'll keep you guys posted um, on how these different layouts work. Like I said, I'm trying to figure out what planners I want to use next year. And this is the one thing I love about the fact that Stephanie has all these undated planners. I mean, I could make them all in Canva myself, but why bother? It's time consuming. If you've ever tried to work with tables in Canva, it's a bit of a, <laughs> it's time consuming. So I figure I can, you know, buy them off of Stephanie and support another creator. It's a win-win. All right. Um, I wonder if you will work right there. That is fantastic. Check that out. It's like it was meant to be. All right. Oh, gosh. Now, we are getting to the point where we need a little bit of action, maybe down here. So I think I'm going to grab one of these larger floral bits, things like this, maybe. Or, hmm, I'm not sure about that. Let's grab this guy first. And let's throw him on some wax paper so I can get an idea on position. 
Yeah, it's not really big enough, not for what I'm wanting. So maybe we will go with this guy. But yeah, these, I don't know. This is, I'm really off on what I want to use for planners next year. I haven't the faintest or the foggiest clue. I know I need a dashboard. I've already bought a dashboard. Where I'm on the fence is what I'm going to use for my catch-all day-to-day stuff. If it's going to be a vertical, a lined vertical, a color block, or something else. Like a monthly. That's where I'm stuck. Maybe we'll go this way. I don't really need a ton because, again, it's the weekend. And I don't have a lot that really goes on on the weekend. So let's do that. But that means, before I get too excited, we're going to eliminate this line. I just need to see how much of this line we're going to eliminate. Let's put a little dot right there. And a little dot right there. So again, this is why I said, you'll probably see a few different spreads over the next, or not, you know what I mean, you'll probably see a few different planner layouts over the next little bit. Oh yes, using white pen on something I have printed is always fun because it's it's um, inkjet. So once it gets a little bit moist, it starts to pick up the colors. So I've got to be quick. Otherwise we have gray is what happens. I may have been better off to just use, um, whatchamacallit, the correction tape, but hey, I like to live dangerously. So long as it's not so apparent, it's better. If it's gray, it doesn't matter. Okay, good enough. Is that far enough though on the bottom? Not quite, I need to come out just a tiny bit more. <clears throat> All right, are we ready again? flat up against the edge without making it crooked is fun. Excellent. All right, let's squishy, squishy that down. Excellent. Okay. What are we missing? It's actually coming along pretty good. Oh, we haven't even brought Merida in yet. <laughs> oh my God. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, these ones are all probably going to be too big, which is why I pulled out the um, these ones, the Princess Plans, because everything in them is little. So, makes life a little bit easier. I can't freaking believe I totally forgot about that. We haven't even gotten to Merida yet. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, so this is the Merida section. I was going to say, did I use her already? It's entirely possible. Nope, there she is. There she be! Okay, so let's grab this cutie. So I'm going to stand her right on top of this box. Like so. No, 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 not yet. Not yet, not yet. Come on, de-stick. Jesus, Jesus. All right, so do I want to put her over there or do I want to put her on the other side? I think we'll put it right here. I don't know, we'll put it down here. Ah, uh, let's put her on top of the box. Because why not? Right. Okay, so we've got her down. Now we have her with the bears, which are her brothers, which I also think is like super cute. So let's put that on there. I don't think we have a ton to work with in this book unless we're looking at box quotes and stuff, but we do have quotes. They're in gold, which is very annoying. But there are quotes. So if we're going to lay our lady later down, where are we going to put her? I could put it down here. Just kind of got to white out the stuff behind it. That's kind of cute, actually. So <clears throat> let's just grab the correction tape for all concerned because it will make life much easier. Let's just eliminate that and eliminate that. Like so, squishy, squishy down. Cute. Now we got the Willow of the Wisp. We have um, the little bear totem thing. We got some leaves, got some mushrooms. What else do we have? I think this is exactly the same. It's just they're bigger. So 
So let's go to the Merida section. That's the group. Here's the Merida section. Yeah, it's just, it's the same. It's just all bigger. That's kind of a bummer. All right. It's funny because I don't use, um, out of the two, if I buy like big sticker books, like for big planners or this, the minis, I find I use the minis more. I've stopped buying stuff that was for big sticker books because I just, I find I don't use them at all. With the exception of I've got some seasonal teacher ones that get used. So there is that. Um, oh, that's an idea. Let's go back into our Merida section in the bigger one. Because they have box quotes in here, which might work for this space right here. Every day is an adventure. Brave. Have a brave heart. I don't really want a ton of them saying, well, you know what? We're already in. Let's just go for it. Either I kind of like that one, but the colors are wrong. It's got pink in it. I don't want pink. I guess we're going, that's the same archer. I don't want that either. What is this one? You are stronger, <clears throat> stronger than you know. This might look odd. Yep, yeah, it's odd. <laughs> Let's just ignore that. It's odd. Yeah, because nothing else is really going to work. Unless we go for like one of these quotes. And in that case, it's probably better that we are in the smaller book. See, we don't have this one in the larger one, which is always wonder. And I can make that one work. All right, what do we got for quotes? <clears throat> Excuse me. Dream with all your heart. Let me see. It's an idea. I was hoping for a bit longer, but we'll see. What else do we have? Kindness is magic. And those ones are more vertical, like horizontal, I mean. All right, let's go back to the Merida section. Because we do have this one, which isn't bad. We could go always wonder and then dream with all your heart. And that would kind of fill up that section. It's an idea, question mark. All right, let's pull this out of there. Let's put this right here. Oh, that is horribly uncentered. I don't know what it is, man. Sometimes I can center it so well and then other times, yeah, not so much. It's also, it's almost like my eyes deceive me. The lying bastards. <laughs> lying bastards. All right, so what about that? Then we have this. Dream with all your heart. Cute. Now let's flatten that out so it's all good and good. Now, I'm on the hunt. Which one's the little one? This is the little one because we should have like flags and things. You know what I mean? Things. Do we not have wisps on their own in here? Nope, apparently not. Okay, well, we're just gonna work with it. So that's quotes, quotes, quotes. Um, flowers, I don't want you. I want kind of these things. Because we can bring in some more by coming in with like something like this. You see where I'm going? Sorry, this video is probably going to be a bit longer than I had originally anticipated. I put that right there. That's cool. Now we're going to get some more foil on this side. I don't, the only thing that drives me crazy is that they're all the same poses. And it gets a little bit difficult when we're trying to do things like this. Because I don't want to put that there because it's literally the archer right next to the archer. Although it says focus, so that's annoying. Um, remember, but it's so light. Like, very light. Unless we grab this foil one. Put that right there. Okay. Let me have one more gander here. Cute. That gives me lots of room to write. So that's the important part here. Um, ooh, I have you. You might work. 
I want just a tiny bit of color up in this corner. And this cut piece may be perfect because it's one at a right angle. Awesome. I mean, it doesn't, I don't have enough room to bring in, you know what I mean? Coolio. I, di I dig it. And I can make this work. I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't bring in some more box, like little box pieces. That's because my brain is thinking in one, two, and three, not it's completely open for the whole show, right? And sometimes it's hard to make your brain think differently to adapt. <laughs> so I'm going to put this back on somewhere that it can fit. Get those out of the way. And I think we're done. So let's put it on the desks. Let's see what it looks like. It's got to go on the back side. Right here. And then I'll just attach it to the page before it. So it goes right there. Excellent. All right. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yes, I know I have to put a month on it. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> I will do that. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. And also, like, have you made a firm decision on what you're using next year? That's kind of my way of playing around with all of this is I'm going to play around with a line vertical and see how well it works. And then I might play around with a monthly and see how it works from now until the end of the year. Because I don't want to buy, like, the, the classic vertical works, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't work. It could probably work better, is my thoughts on that. So this is why I'm playing around. And this is far better than spending money on something that I'm not going to like once I get into it, right? Always best to do a little bit of, I don't want to call it research, but like exploration, <laughs> I guess would be the word. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I will keep you posted and I will see you next time. Ciao.